All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, my video tutorial on um, how to change your screensaver if you uh, if you don't know how to. If you're new to the PS4, most people have a PS4 or a PS4 Pro, but it doesn't matter. There's people learning every day, right? So. Um, you know, so if you don't know how to do this, I am just doing a basic tutorial on how to change your screensaver on the PS4. So, you can see I have mine right here. It is of Assassin's Creed Origins. I kind of like that picture where he's holding the fire, going through the creepy cave and everything. Um, but anyway, so what you need to do, I'm trying to hold this phone as steady as I can. It would be so much easier if I could do this via the PlayStation, but... Apparently, you have to have an application open to do it, and when I was trying to record it, it kept cutting me out of the video. Um, you know, just trying to hit the options and, or sorry, the share button twice and, you know, recording it, but that wasn't working. So, anyway, just doing it via my phone. Alright, so we're just going to go over to settings, and that is, or I'm sorry, not settings. You're going to go over to your library. Click uh, the X button on your remote control, your PlayStation remote, and it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. Then you're going to go down to the capture gallery. So depending on how many apps you have, uh, you know, it just might kind of be somewhere around there. Mine's kind of like on the side here. And then you'll just hit start. Um, just hit the X button for enter. And then it'll give you a list. So you're going to see a list of all your games that you own. So like, let's see, maybe I'll see Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And you can either, so once you click on the game that you want to select for either your screenshots or video clips, um, it'll bring up like uh, a screen for, you'll see all and you'll see screenshots and you'll see video clips. So this one's only showing that I have screenshots. Let's see what this one is. That's not a bad screenshot, but um, see if I have anything else. Let's see what I have in Resident Evil Village. Uh, I don't really like any of those either. Maybe I have some cool ones in Ark. Oh, here's a, a pretty cool one. Yeah, I like that one. Except if that uh, display menu thing wasn't in there. But maybe I'll try that one. So when you get to the picture that you want to choose for your screensaver, you're just going to hit the options button on your, your PlayStation remote. And that's right here. So here's your X button and your options button. So you'll hit options. And then with your joystick with this one, you're going to go over to set as background and just click X on that. All right. And then it'll like frame it for you and make sure you want to put it in that size frame and you can enlarge it or zoom it out. So see, I can actually cut that thing out now and just move this over a bit. Just to get that piece out of there. So I'm only going to show about uh, that much of it, I think, maybe. Let me see if I can move it out a little bit more. I don't want to cut that man's head off, dude. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Then you can click enter with the X button. And eh, I'm kind of picky. You just hit select image. Oh, oops, excuse me. It took me back a couple steps, but oops. Enter. Sorry, guys. And then all you have to do is hit apply once it's where you want it. Why is that not need to go back to preview. See, it's still... Didn't cut out that thing like I wanted. 
Say what? Now let's move this over. Sorry. Sorry guys, didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. Now enter, sorry. And then just hit apply. X. And there you go, you should have your new background. And then you can just hit the circle button on your PlayStation remote here and you'll see it pop up and there you go. So there's my background that I just changed it to. So yeah, so any screenshots that you take from games or anything, um, that's how you do it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Please feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below. And um, once again, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching and I hope this was uh, very helpful to you. Alright, bye guys!